the light, the sun is just beaming through these windows. Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day today. So today I'm doing something a little bit different with my last install of my time with Disney Cruise Line because I put the footage into my editor and then realized that all the clips make absolutely zero sense um, put together and it comes to about 15 minutes of questionable footage. This was an idea that I've been toying with with the other videos where I come on here and talk to you guys about the clips you're about to see, talk through some of the clips since they're not talking, I'm not talking to you during the clips and there's really no context at all. Okay, so the last clip that you guys saw, if you've seen the first installment of this, basically, I don't know how to start this. <laughs> so my final contract with Disney Cruise Line, I was on a full swing contract, which means I was doing two ships in one contract. So I spent two months on the Disney Wonder doing Alaska and San Diego, and then I transferred to the Disney Magic doing all of the New York cruises. So the last video I put up was my time on the Wonder, and then when I left you guys, I was flying to New York to go surprise my parents. Um, I had a three day transfer in New York. So three days, no work. It was beautiful and blissful and I loved it because we don't get days off at, um, when you work on a cruise. I flew to New York. I, my flight got in at one in the morning and then I pretty much like went to the hotel, um, dropped my stuff and Ubered home to surprise my parents. So I'm like two minutes away from my house. My parents have no idea that I'm coming. So we'll see if I wake up. When I get there, the back door is literally right by their bedroom, so it's been really funny. If they don't wake up, then I have to wake up in two hours and my mom goes to work. So I'm very, very excited to be home and see my dog. She's gonna be the first thing I see. I can't wait. Um, so yeah, surprise, surprise appearance. 2018 is commencing. I know you can't see me because I'm in the dark corner. morning um so mom and sister um have found out already before i grab my camera uh mom just came up and hugged me because i was sleeping <laughs> and my sister saw me in the kitchen she turned around and she kind of freaked out so <laughs> so dad is still upstairs sleeping so i'm gonna keep my phone attached to me like it's glued to my hand and we'll get his reaction was definitely like a success. She was so happy to see me. Hello. So happy. Um, my mom found me on the couch because I didn't wake up from my alarm because I was so tired. Shocker. So I didn't get her reaction, but she was very happy to see me. And then my sister found me when I was in the kitchen. Again, didn't have my phone because I was making a cup of tea. And she had this like realization look on her face and then got excited. It was really funny and I wish I'd filmed it. And my dad's obviously is like the best one. He was so shook, he had no idea what was going on. And then my brother, I did get on camera, but I don't think I'm gonna insert it because it was so lame. And I told him how lame it was. My dad asked him to come downstairs to walk the dog and I was laying in my mom's bed and we had the door open and he didn't come down for like an hour and it turned out he'd seen my Instagram story before um, he came downstairs so he knew I was home because he'd obviously seen me saying like I'm coming home and my dad's reaction and the dog so he had the surprise foiled for him on my Instagram whoops this is my makeup look for the day um I posted it on my Instagram story if you're not following me on Instagram follow me on Instagram um I wanted to do like a fall um look inspired by a song so I put on Hozier's new EP and um I think that's a series I might start hello <laughs> on my channel is um doing a makeup look 
inspired by a song, like listening to the song over and over again. Um, oh, there's my eyeliner. Um, so yeah, that's what this is, and I love it, and it's mostly beauty counter. Everything on my eyes is beauty counter, and I love, look at her. Hello. <laughs> She's so mad at me. Okay, bye. <laughs> love you so much. Oh. <gasps> I'm in my hotel room. It was so wonderful spending the day home with my family, even though it was like bits and pieces because it's Monday, so they were at work and school. Um, but I, I got to spend time with my family. I spent time with my dog. I got to just like lay in bed, which if you've never worked on a cruise ship, that's not really what we get to do because we work seven days a week and um, lying in bed isn't usually an option. So having a morning to myself where I could um, dictate when I got up, what I was eating, um, who I was talking to, um, and it was, oh, it was great. It was really wonderful, and I got my mom's home cooking for dinner. I got to see two very, very good friends of mine. Lori met me for lunch, and Alexa, um, came over after dinner, and it was so nice catching up with them and seeing them, and my heart is so, so, so full. Um, I do have the hotel room to myself. I have this giant king bed. Oh, Oh my god it is crazy I've never had my own hotel room when I've been working for Disney um, and I wanted to do a little mattress fly test so here we go I'm gonna run and jump onto the bed and then we'll click to tomorrow because I am tired it's like 1 in the morning and I need some sleep so oh. <laughs> good night guys and yeah, I did I did actually wake up before my mom, but I was so tired I couldn't stay awake. So she found me on uh, the couch, which was just so funny. And everyone was excited to see me. It was very sweet and it was a great surprise all around. And then I spent the whole day at home, like I said, uh, saw two of my friends, got to spend time with my dog in, in my house and just like really rejuvenate from my time away. And get ready to go back on the boat and then I went back to my hotel um, I stayed at the I think I said this I stayed at the Crown Plaza Airport Hotel and out in Queens and um, spent two days in New York and then shocker I filmed nothing else <laughs> I don't know what it is like I have full intentions of vlogging and then I just don't I went out to dinner with my friends and we went to Italy which is one of my favorite restaurants in the city there's many restaurants in there I think we went to pizza pasta that day and it was very delicious and it was so nice catching up with them and we planned our vacation that we're going on uh, in June so that was it was just a lot of fun and much needed and then the remaining day that I had, I spent time just wandering around Manhattan. I uh, was actually in Midtown, which I don't really like spending time in Midtown, oddly enough, but I went to go see Once on this Island, uh, which was incredible. It's only playing for another week. It closes the first week of January. And if you can go, try and go. If not, I'm really sorry, but it was amazing. It was so, 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 so good. And then by the time I knew it, my three days was up and I was going back to work. And then I don't remember what, I could go back and check my journal because I kept a journal my entire time. Um, I don't remember if this was our first or second cruise, but inserting footage here, I ended up going to St. John's in Canada. Uh, we only had one port day that cruise. So I, I want to say it was like two sea days up and then two sea days back. It might only been one sea day. Um, it felt like a long cruise though, but it was only one port day and it was a really sad day. I didn't have a lot of time off in port, so I didn't have a, lot, a big chance to film because I was so like get to the restaurant eat with my friends and then get back to the ship for work so I only got a little bit of footage of it but it was so cute and I wish we'd spent more time there however I can now say that I've been to both coasts of Canada so that's cool um, and yeah never thought I'd go to Canada and I've been to Vancouver and St. John's and then the month of October we spent going to Bermuda and I actually don't think I have a single I don't I don't have a single bit of footage from Bermuda. 
I don't know how that happened. I don't know what I was doing. Um, but basically we had all seven day cruises and we had one overnight in Bermuda. So we would have two port days in the port of Bermuda and we were there for over 24 hours, which was so cool. I had never done an overnight before and I got to do one every week for a month. So that was kind of cool. Um, and it was weird. Like my time off was very strange. Um, but because the shows are over at night and we don't work, at least in my department, we don't work after 10 p.m. usually. Um, kind of depends on the day. Like if we have a late night rehearsal or something, then we'd work late. But um, for the most part, once the shows are over and we've gotten the laundry in, then the day's over. So since it was an overnight, we got to spend time out in the port at night. So I have photos of the ship in nighttime, which is so cool. Like I never thought I'd get to see the ship at night, like off the ship. It was so, it was such a, a weird thing, um, but a very, very cool experience. And Bermuda was so beautiful. Um, but I was go, I'm going to talk about this in a later video, but I was going through like a bit of a weird time, um, while on the ship. So I didn't really go out and explore a lot. I was feeling very tired. Um, I didn't really have not a lot of time to recuperate from all the exploring I'd been doing in Europe and then Alaska and now Bermuda. So I was just like, I just want to relax. So I spent a lot of time relaxing by the pool. Um, I found a little coffee shop that I would go to a lot to get work done and write my blog posts. So um, that like my me time kind of became like my me time, if you know what I mean. So I didn't really get any content, unfortunately. But Oh well, moving on. <laughs> um, we did end up going to eat at Rapunzel's Royal Table one night, which was so cool. It is one of the new restaurants on board the Disney Magic and they have shows, which is so cute. And here are some clips from when we ate at Rapunzel's. <laughs> festival and that night we went was Rapunzel's birthday party for the Lantern Festival. Um, they do throw her a surprise party as well um, but we didn't go to the surprise party we went to her birthday party and it was very fun and um, just a really nice thing we went with the the little costuming team so um, it was two other costume technicians our senior and me and we just had like a really nice night uh, together and then the next bit of footage I have is from when my parents came to sail my parents sailed the first week of November when we switched itineraries so we went to uh, Castaway Key which is Disney's private island and to Disney World uh, we did an overnight there not as long of an overnight as in Bermuda we were in port until 1 a.m. and then we left but all of the guests um, with their cruise ticket or cruise purchase would get access to all of the parks at Walt Disney World with Park Hopper and three Fast Passes. So cool, right? Um, so my parents came to sail for one of those cruises, which was so, so, so fun. And I got to eat dinner with them a bunch um, just because of the way the um, itineraries laid out. We didn't have nighttime shows every day. So this was one of the nights I got to eat dinner with my parents in Animator's Palette. <laughs> ships that that um, dining experience happens animators palette is on all of the ships but that particular um, event doesn't happen on the bigger ships I don't think it does it doesn't it doesn't um, 
It doesn't. <laughs> Um, and then we went to Castaway, but I've already put up footage of Castaway, so I didn't take any, and I was relaxing on the beach in the morning, so I was like, I'm not filming. And then we went to Disney World! It has been a hot minute since I have vlogged. <laughs> this contract has been so crazy, but today it is November 7th, and my family is sailing this cruise, which is so exciting. I'm so happy to have them with me. And I have the day off. This has never happened before. I'm working zero hours today, and I'm so excited because I'm in Disney World. <laughs> um, we have three cruises that are out of New York to Florida, and we have one day late night porting in Port Canaveral, which means we get to come to Disney World. So, we're here. My family took the guest shuttle, so I'm going to meet them in Hollywood Studios, and I got dropped in Magic Kingdom, so I have to get my way over there. And then we're coming to Magic Kingdom for the afternoon, and then I'm heading back early. I was gonna come back super late, like at 10 p.m., get back to the ship at midnight, but I'm just really tired, and I'm coming back here in two weeks, so fun day with the fam. I can't wait. I'm pretty sure my makeup's running because I've been like tearing up this whole time, so I need to get myself together. But I'm very excited, and yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. decorated for Christmas so it was really cute and it, I haven't been to Disney World with my family since I was six yeah it's been a long time um, they took a family vacation in May which I was supposed to go on and then my contract changed so I was um, I think I was in the Atlantic Ocean at, oh no I might have been in Miami let me think about this I think I was on the transatlantic going to Europe when my parents were in um, Disney World. So like kind of sad, kind of not. Kind of sad because I missed the family vacation, but I was also going to Europe. So I don't know. I was very conflicted. <laughs> uh, but it was really nice to be with my family and sort of like start celebrating the holidays. 
and just get to hang out with them. We didn't do anything crazy. We really just walked around, um, went on a couple of rides. We rode, I rode Tower of Terror and the Mine Train with my sister. Um, and then my sister and my dad got to go on the Slinky Dog ride because um, they got to Hollywood Studios before I could go meet them. And they went on Splash Mountain because I left them to come back to the ship early. And then we came back to the ship and it was all decorated. It's, I love the ship at Christmas time. Um, I started on the fantasy at Christmas time and it's just so magical. Like that's really the only word there is to describe it. It's so, 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 so beautiful. Um, so we came back and it was Christmas and then we went and had dinner at Rapunzel's again, but it was just a regular dining experience. And then before I knew it, they were leaving me again and I was getting ready for my final cruise. Like that's literally how much footage I have. I did not film half as much as I thought, I think I should have. And uh, for my last cruise, my friend Becky, who you will all know if you've been watching my past couple videos, um, came to the magic. She was um, coming to work, <laughs> um, but she got there for my last cruise. So we got to stand outside on the crew deck when we were leaving New York. So we got to see the whole skyline lit up at night. This is at like five o'clock. Like it got dark so fast that day and we sailed past the Statue of Liberty. Yay! spent the week uh, prepping for Christmas because the, I'm trying to think if we were, we were doing Christmas that week. I think that was our first week of, of Christmas really being on board. Um, so we just had a lot of show, new shows and carolers and a bunch of new costumes to take care of. So uh, lots and lots of things to do. And I spent my last day at Castaway Key. Here are a couple photos that I'll insert. And we went, there's a crew beach that um, is for crew members only. So we went there, hung out. There's a little barbecue for us and uh, just got to enjoy my last time on Castaway. And then we went to Disney World and it was so much fun. It was me and Becky and one of our coworkers, Murphy. And we just walked around all of Magic Kingdom, literally walked in and walked through Tomorrowland, took some photos. Um, they were doing the share your ears for Mickey's birthday. Uh, so I took my share your ears photo and then we walked and we ate a lot of food. We had so much food. <laughs> um, we did the pretzels. I got a Mickey bar. Um, I want to say I ate something else, but there was a lot of food to be had that day. And then when we were coming around Fantasyland, I wanted to get pixie dusted by a fairy godmother in training because I got it done last year on my training time, but I hadn't gotten it filmed. So here is my footage of getting pixie dusted. <laughs> It is so, so, so sweet. It is inside the couture shop um, in the back of fa in Fantasyland. Um, and it's like the little dress shop for all the little girls. But if you ask the fairy godmothers nicely, they will pixie dust you. Um, I know it's probably supposed to be for little kids, but you know, Disney World was created for all the children at heart. So I don't think they're gonna say no to you if you ask to make a wish. And it was so much fun. And then we went and we rode Pirates of the Caribbean. It was the day, okay, we went the day before Thanksgiving <laughs> and it was insane. If you are looking to have a chill Disney World time, do not go the day before Thanksgiving. It was one of the craziest times. The crowds were intense. That's probably why my camera, I didn't film anything because I was so overwhelmed by the amount of people that were there. And, um, yeah, but we got to see the Move It Shake It parade, which was cute. And then we did a little bit of Christmas shopping 
for our fam and friends and then we headed back to the ship because we had a dinner reservation at Palo, insert photo. Um, the Palo is on board all of the Disney ships. It is a five star Italian restaurant and for crew members it's kind of exclusive. Um, and I have been trying to go to Palo for a very long time so I was very, very, very excited to get to go to Palo and we had an amazing meal. It is some of the best food I think I've ever had. It was delicious. Um, and then I got a video of them cracking my souffle. The chocolate. Oh, look at that steam. So you can smell the aroma, both the sauces. And our money last came out of the top. And it was incredible like what a great way to end my time with disney and then i ended up getting my one year pin um my one year with disney was november 1st so i got my one year pin um i got it in like a just like it <laughs> handed it to me so i don't have footage of it but here's my my one year pin on my uh name badge and that was really special i'm very glad that i made it to my one year anniversary with disney and then before i knew it i was packed up and heading home and uh, I just, I took some last, last photos with my boss and some of the princesses and... My dad got my mom a singing clock last year. Anyway, so that, that's it. And then I came home and we were docked out of New York. So I hopped in an Uber and I Ubered home and I was home in 30 minutes. 45 minutes I think of traffic. It was ideal. I didn't have to get on a flight. It was absolutely perfect. And that that's it. That's all my time with Disney. <laughs> I will be doing some recap videos and uh, just Disney Cruise Line videos in general because I feel like there aren't that many online. And I did work there for a year and I worked on three out of the four ships. So I have a lot of insight. And yeah, that that's, that's, that's it. That's it, that's it. So um, yeah. And clearly it's still the holidays because tree's up, but uh, time is ending. So it's time for a new start, new year, but yeah. Okay, I'm rambling and I gotta go cause I wanna get this video edited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I will have all four videos down below or the other three videos down below um, for you if you wanna see some of my time on the other ships. And that is everything I have for you guys. Um, if you have any questions about what it was like working for Disney Cruise Line, what it was like working on a boat, uh, what it was like working for Mickey Mouse, then let me know and I will happily answer those in a video. And yeah, that is, that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this series. And um, yeah, that's it. I gotta go. <laughs>